What up collectors? SS Joe again and yes, it's reviewing time. Alright people, what's up? So I finally caved in and got one of these massive bad mama jamma fuck dogs. This thing is massive. He's a quarter scale predator from the movie Predator 2. He's heavy as fuck. Alright. For the price, you can't go wrong. I mean, I'm excited for the Hot Toys quarter scale predators, but we haven't seen shit. The year is pretty much over in a couple of days, and they haven't done anything. There's just the next figure that they also put out. There's the back of the box. Box is nothing to drool over, just a simple cardboard box, nothing special. This thing had so many fucking zip ties, it was unbelievable. I had to bust out a machete. The price isn't bad for something this size. I think it was 80 something bucks. Yeah, 89 bucks. Alright guys. Just for scale comparison here. Look in the background. You got the Hot Toys from Predators. Got the original Arnie and Billy. My favorite, the classic. Then you got over there, Nolan, Shadow, and the awesome Samurai. And Royce. All right, guys. So I'm pretty impressed with this for the price. This thing weighs a ton. He's heavy. The paint apps are cool. The only thing that I kind of don't like is the netting. It looks really, really cheap compared to like Hot Toys netting. You see the difference there? Other than that, I mean, the paint looks cool. It's, it's sweet. It's not Hot Toys paint. But it's still nice for the price, you know, 80 something bucks, you can't go wrong. He does come with a couple accessories. You get that extra hand for holding this spear over here, which the paint apps are nice. You see it's nicely detailed. Here's the closed end, and it does extend out like that. So pretty cool. I mean, look, that looks like real croc skin or whatever the heck is supposed to be. You got the little detailing in there. It's pretty cool. Look at the paint apps on his armor. It just that shit looks badass to me. Look at this bad mamma jamma. I can't wait to compare this to a hot toys though. Look at the netting though. God damn, that's bothering me. But don't complain, Joe. It was 80 bucks. There's his little disc that he came with. And this hand is sculpted perfectly for holding such disc. And these blades here, they do extend. They got some cool little weathering going on there. Damn, I actually gotta stand up my lazy ass to show you the top of this coconut. Now, I'm most impressed with the mask. It looks beautiful. The dreads are hard plastic. They're a little cheap, but they look all right. But compared to Hot Toys, of course, eh. Comes with this little laser blaster there. Look at this motherfucker, this file stopper. Damn guys, he's nice. Really liking it. All right, let me turn him around. He does stand pretty well. Played with him for maybe 10 seconds. Gave it a spin on the turntable and he does hold his pose. The more and more I look at it, I'm liking the paint apps. Just not the stupid fish fucking netting 
It looks so cheap. It feels so cheap. We got this little piece. Look at that. Nice greens in there. Real nice. The joints are pretty well hidden. All these things, they're not, I mean it's sculpted but it's not molded on, not one thing. This little butt flap moves, show you his little butt crack, his predator crack, he's a crackhead. And that's a good shot, I'm going to have to play with these dreads because it's hard plastic, so you probably got to play with them for a while to get them to stay where you want, but they do move around nicely. And looking at it, they don't use as many as Hot Toys does. I believe this only has two rows there. As where Hot Toys actually has three. Just look at that. The paint is really cool on the armor. The Predator Tush. There you get the disc holder. Got another little gay bag there. And his little crotch protector also flaps in the wind. And you get this hand, and like I said, you could also put this other hand. This one holds the spear. Just pop it out, and pop it in. It does feel a little oily. I know my ass showered already, so it's not me. A nice neck there. That mask is fucking badass. It's killer. Yeah, guys. So, for the price, for the money, I would definitely suggest picking this bad boy up. I'm loving it. He goes cool with the rest of my preds here. With my favorite there, the classic, the original dude. That's just my favorite mask. Look, Goldie Rizzo, my buddy. That's what you're missing out on, bud. Come on, you can still get his beautiful butt. Look at him. He's screaming, Goldie, get me. Speaking of my boy Goldie Rizzo, he lost his channel, so he's starting up a new one. So it's just Rizzo's channel, R-E-Z-O-S-C-H-A-N-N-E-L, Rizzo's channel, one word people. Let's take one last look at this bad mofo, this little fuck dog. With the predators there, they captured Bruce's head along with Albert there. Don't forget, see, even Darwin collects skulls. Love this motherfucker. Alright, guys, enjoy your holidays, people. Have fun, don't drink and drive, don't smoke weed and drive and all that shit that we used to be able to do, because it's not good. Alright guys, one last spin and we're out. Alright guys, he is bad ass. I think I missed out on the original version. I think they made one of him. I'm not sure. Let's see if I could find him. Or I'll just hold off for Hot Toys. Alright guys, enjoy. SS Joe Ducati boy, out.